Hello again everybody, this is John with BestPriceNutrition.com. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about HMB. HMB is a metabolite of the amino acid leucine. Um, leucine is one of the branch chain amino acids. Um, the branch chain amino acids are the ones that get talked about all the time um, because of their abundance in muscle tissue. Um, specifically, leucine is the one that's responsible for, increasing, uh, for activating muscle protein synthesis. So that's why you hear a lot about leucine. And when you take in leucine in your body, about 5% of it gets converted into HMB. It gets metabolized. There's a couple steps, turns into HMB. So HMB has some unique uh, benefits that are independent of leucine. Yes, leucine is the source of it. Um, so we'll focus on HMB. And HMB is anti-catabolic. Specifically, it helps your body stop from breaking down muscle tissue. Um, whereas leucine on the other end is more responsible for, because you know the other 95% of it not being converted to HMB, is going to be increasing protein synthesis. Now the question is, is HMB a rate limiting factor? And for that matter, are BCAAs a rate limiting factor? That really depends. We have a video on BCAAs, which we'll link, that we kind of go into that in depth, um, that you might want to check out. If you have questions on that, feel free to post them. But sticking to HMB, number one, if you're somebody on a high calorie diet, you're taking in more than you burn, you're trying to gain weight, you definitely do not need HMB. Because you're not worried about wasting muscle. You're taking in plenty of calories, don't worry about it. If you're on a maintenance diet where you're taking in plenty of calories, and when I say plenty of calories, that does include ample protein intake, about a gram per pound of gold body weight, right in that range, it could be argued a little bit more, a little bit less, but you're in that realm, I don't think you need it either. Now, if you're on a hypocaloric diet where you're taking in less than you burn, I'm taking in this much, I'm burning this much, this gap is some of this gap in here, am I going to be losing some muscle tissue as a result of that? Is my body going to be, yes, burning fat, but also am I going to be wasting muscle? And is HMB going to go do a good job at preventing some of that muscle from being burned? Maybe. But the question is compared to what? HMB is not cheap, so if you do want to take it, you've got to take about 3 to 4 grams a day. Don't really go beyond that. At some point, it's diminishing returns and it costs a lot of money. Um, if you do use it, use it in divided doses throughout the day. If you're using it for an acute effect because you're going to train fasted, you want to use about 3 grams about an hour before you train. Now, when I say maybe, that means compared to what? Well, I would just say you could maybe use 5 grams of whey protein, which has plenty of leucine in there. Some of that leucine is going to be converted into HMB, plus you're getting all 20 amino acids, never mind other benefits beyond that. And I say whey because it tends to sit in your stomach really well around training. That's my personal preference. I find it doesn't you know, weigh me down or anything like that, uh, no pun intended. But so you have options is the point. Um, now, if HMB is in a supplement that you really, really like, Hey, and you like all the other ingredients, it's not like, hey, I, I shouldn't take it, because like I said, there is some interesting research on HMB. Most of the most interesting research and effects are going to be for populations where they have muscle wasting diseases, actually. There's some interesting stuff there. But for otherwise healthy adults, you have alternatives, especially focusing on those of you who are trying to burn fat. I know when people are trying to lose fat, they're really worried about, hey, I'm going to waste away and lose all my muscle tissue. If it's worth it, hey, give it a shot. As I said, there is some positive research in that realm. But again, I don't want to make it seem like, hey, you have to use this if you're cutting. It's just not the case. It can be used by men or women. And again, just to recap, it is a metabolite of leucine. So if your leucine intake, i.e. your protein intake, is ample, I really don't think I'd put it in a need. It's one of those things that if it fits your budget and you, know, you want to give it a shot, by all means, there's enough positive research for you. You know, it fits your criteria, then it might be something you want to try. Um, but you do have alternatives, as I said. If you guys have any other questions on it or you want to check out the BCAA video, we'll put link that below. Also, some of the research that went into this video will go below it as well. Um, if you like the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Also, you can check us out at facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.